Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and the Google Keyboard got a very big update today to version 5.0, so I figured I'd make a video showing off everything that's new and all the changes. So let's go ahead and jump into Google Keyboard settings, go into Preferences. Now Themes got a bit of an update, so here is my uh, Nexus 6P with the old keyboard installed, and now I want to show you there's a Show Key Border right here. So let's turn that on, jump back to the keyboard, and there is that border that you can add around it, and then I'm going to actually go to material light so only the two material options they get rid of the hollow option and that's what that looks like with the border as well so obviously nice that you have a little bit of customization in terms of what the keyboard looks like and with the keyboard I think dark and keyboard is my favorite one-handed mode brand new so let's turn that on go back into it and check out how much smaller it is and kind of how sideways it is and you can press this arrow if you want to switch to the left side or to the right side and obviously to uh, make it bigger again, you can just go ahead and press that. Press and hold the Enter key and go over to this icon and it jumps back into that one-handed mode. So it's obviously with bigger displays, it's just easier to turn that on for those of you that want to type with one hand. Something else that has changed is when you use swipe on the keyboard, you'll notice there's a floating preview right above where your thumb is on the old keyboard but you also notice some word suggestions on the top bar. Now on the new keyboard, when you start swiping, it only has one suggestion that is right there. And then when you let go, it adds the word and then adds three other suggestions right below it. There's also an option to long press for icons. And of course you can change the long press that was available on the other keyboard. And you can see what symbols are going to be added behind that specific letter. Now I wanna jump back into those settings and check it out, keyboard height. Finally, this is a big one that I know a lot of people are going to like. So let's change it to tall, jump back into messages, and it bumped up a lot. Now let's go ahead and go back and change it to short. And you'll see it uh, has mid, short, normal, mid, tall. So let's just jump back into completely small, and that just bumped it down even more. There's a couple really neat options. So if I say, hey there, and I go ahead and press on the delete key and then swipe to the left, it just deletes it all. So that's just a quick gesture you can use. And then also if I wanna go hey there, and watch what happens when I slide on the space bar. This is probably my favorite feature that they've added, the slide on space bar for cursor control. Check that out, awesome. So very similar to how they do it on the priv with the hard keyboard and swiping around. So awesome that they finally, finally have added some cursor control to the keyboard. Bringing up both keyboards side by side, you'll see a little bit different with the icons in the bottom left. You'll see the smiley keys in the bottom right instead of the enter key. Now you'll notice the smiley is right there. And when you press this icon, it brings up some suggested emojis right up here. You cannot customize them at the moment. Hopefully they can add that in the future. And then you'll see when I press this, it just brings up a bunch of symbols right here. Now you'll notice that you can go straight into smileys. And then if you go back here, it brings you back to your symbols, but also there's a number pad option right here. So you can quickly go into a number pad, which was much needed in the Google keyboard as well, uh, that you can actually customize when you go to it. It doesn't just kind of let you know. And then there's a quick slider right here for some other symbols. And then finally back in settings, we go to advanced. They've added share snippets, automatically share snippets of what and how you type in Google apps to improve Google keyboard that has been added as well. So overall, that would be the Google Keyboard 5.0 update. Should be rolling out to your device in the near future. I'll post a link to the APK in the description. It might only work on 64-bit phone processors. So just kind of keep that in mind if it says installation failed or update failed. Uh, it will only install on devices such as my Galaxy S7 that I have right here. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Click that thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe to me as well. Lots more videos to come in the near future. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.